When choosing between going to space for your boyfriend, going to space for your little pet dragon, or going to space because your space team playground was torn down, I choose option D. Knowledge. Okay, what's going on guys? I'm Ezra Ford here today. I am back to talk about Levitros in Divines. Now, people have ragged on this day so much to the point that, you know, I've had to say, all right, I'm going to redo my entire upload schedule. I'm going to do this video three months in advance because, you know, I was supposed to do this video later in the year, but whatever. Today, of course, I don't wish to talk about Stoikia decks that are not Nairos alone. Today, my cameraman is back. Hello. Hello. So, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, today, we're going to talk about King Levidras. Now, I will put a link in the description for the previous Levidras video. Uh, Levidras only has two waves of support, the beginning and the end. So, how do you do a cross ride for a guy who hasn't even been fully born yet? The answer, stack it with as much broken support as possible and, you know, win. Yeah, win. That, that's it. Okay, so uh, with that away, let's just start off with the right deck. Uh, the right deck is going to be the old right deck for Levitras, obviously. Uh, so I won't really explain that. Uh, you can just check the link in the description for the previous uh, Levitras video. So I will not be describing 0, 1, 2. I'm just going to leave it out, okay? Just check the video. Energy, I obviously will explain it, device explained, so that's really about it. Grade 3, now we play King Levidras. Uh, there is a large point of contention on why we play King Levidras in the right deck. So I'm going to dedicate a whole section to it. Now, if you want to play the original Levidras, I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, original Levidras, for those of you who don't know yet, Again, please watch the previous video. You can just counter blast one, and every turn you can put one infinite ice marker on your side, the opponent's side, right? Yeah, correct. So, uh, infinite ice marker, if you don't know yet, is a blank card that you throw around for free to give your opponent toilet paper. Uh, and then, of course, the second skill is the divine skill. The divine skill is that if your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater, i.e., if you go second, you can soul blast one. Uh, give the marker to your opponent one again and give one to yourself, and this unit gains 10k to crit. So goodbye Phantom Blaster Dragon, I wish you well. Now, the third skill is the skill that gives your infinite ice markers any points of meaning in life. Which is when a unit with the infinite ice marker attacks or boost, you can give it a plus 10 or a minus 10. If it's your real opponent's real guards, you can actually destroy the marker and draw a card. So basically, every time you give your opponent a marker, you're getting a draw one, but at a cost of the marker disappearing after the battle. So Levidras has a lot of interesting offensive and defensive potential, and that's really all I can say. Now, the million dollar question is, do you play Levidras in the right deck, or King Levidras in the right deck? Levidras and Polio, the skill is very simple. The continuous skill is that it counts as the original Levidras, Lamau, and then uh, for every one of the original Levidras in the soul, uh, he gains 5,000 power and the divine skill. So yes, he can stack the divine skill, but the divine skills are only once per game. So realistically, doesn't matter. So with that way, you can actually just ride King Levidras, move base Levidras into the soul, and look at that, you now can copy the divine skill. So no love lost. Now, what you'll be asking is, how the hell does this guy gain a divine skill? And why do I keep saying you can just move Levidras to the soul? Well, unlike Phantom Blaster Overlord, Dragon Overlord, The End, Majesty of Blaster, Platina Hazel, Glory Maelstrom, Familiar in the Blood, Minerva, and the wonderful Dayusha, we don't need to do that because the moving to soul is built into the Vanguard. That is just how good the kings are in Divines. His second skill is you can counter blast one or move a card from your hand into the soul, and then afterwards uh, you can choose two rear guards anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Anywhere, and then just put two infinite eyes marker. If the card you move into your soul was a Levidras card, you can get 3 instead of 2. So yeah. basically, you can either A, C, B, 1, get 2 markers on your side or the opponent's side. So you can fully spread to all your opponent's side if you want even. If you want more draws against Vargas Regress, or if you want to ramp up your own offensive to kill El Calibra, put it all on your side, right? It's that easy. Not only that though, if you move a base Levidras, or even a Persona copy of King Levidras into the soul, you get 3 markers. So, you know, it's even more markers, yeah. Uh, that's kind of why I want to play King Levidros in the right deck, because it makes sure that I can actually maximize this skill as much as possible. With the largest amounts of Levidros known to mankind, I know that I can always just focus on spreading markers even at the cost of my own persona. It makes it so that a lot of the matchups that people fear in today's environment, such as Lia Elodium, are now shut off, because 
Her and Akuna swings for 28, shrink him to 18, draw, done. Easy. Yeah. Just that easy. But I understand that a lot of people will be upset. They will say, Ames, I don't want a high roll, or Ames, I'm just not as good as you. How can I do better? Now, there is a solution. And the solution is, of course, don't be me because I'm actually a really bad player. Okay, I'm joking. A lot of these things are said for satirical purposes. But, you know, if you just buy a certain card, you can solve that problem. Uh, we'll get to it later. Right. Moving on to the great trees. The great trees, obviously, as I mentioned before, we play four copies of King Levidras, one in the right deck. Uh, we play four. Oh my god, the card drop. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and then after that, we also play three copies of Dog. Four copies of the original Levidras. Uh, we play one copy of Balbiator. We play two copies of this girl. Really deadly, by the way. And then of course one plushy. So again, uh, it's really similar to the flagbook video. I don't know if that video is out or not. Maybe it got taken down, but we'll see. Now, as I described earlier, Levidros is a Levidros based deck. So in the Levidros based deck, we need to play Levidros. What a surprise! So uh, that covers all eight copies. Yes, you can actually persona right in and out of Levidros to King, Levidros to King. Uh, but you won't be allowed to do that in this format because Vargas Regress will end your life as soon as humanly possible. That being said though, the rest of our Great 3 supports are very devastating from this set. Balbiator and these two. So that's why you want to play the uh, Formidal Surrogate a la Best in Plushy because it makes sure that you get access to both of them almost at 100%. It's almost 100% consistency. So please, 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 if you're playing Levy Drust, pick this up. It is very important. Uh, the skill is just play this order, it's a one per game order, search your deck for two different great trees and call it to Rare Azurgo. Very, very effective. I promise you, please pick it up. Alright, I will already cover the great trees. Yes, so, thank you. First of all, Baldiator. Um, Baldiator. Baldiator. So, at the end of the battle that he attacks, if you have Infinity Eyes Marker in the same column as him, you either count on blast one or remove the Infinity Eyes Marker in the same column and draw one card, choose one of the other units and give it 5,000 power. Until you, you know who he sounds like? <laughs> it's so good. You now get to not only get free draws just from an attacker, you get to plus 5k regard to a plus 5k power to another regard. Which basically means you can now just play like these Spike Brothers pass the ball kind of nonsense. This guy swings, give another five, this guy swings, give another five. It's insanity. Uh, and not only that, you can play on the CV denied. Right? Because you can just not use the CV skill. Yeah. You just use the remove skill and there you go. Yeah. yeah. But um, he's only at one copy because we don't really need too many. Really, really don't want to build too much great trees yeah. in the deck. And Surprise because me. you have this, you can just train it up. Yeah. Who's the more important one? This girl. So, the first skill. If you have three or more Infinity Sign Marker in the drop, you pay one Soul Blast and call out as long as you have no other versions of her in, on the field. So, if you only have. If, if she's the only one in the drop and you don't have any other copies of it in the field, you can just so blast one and call it out as long as you have three or more infinite ice marker. Three or more infinite ice marker is really simple because you know King Levy just. Yeah. So there you go. You you, you solved it. <laughs> that, that, that's why that's why we need it. Alright, uh, the second skill is even worse. So basically, uh when the when she attacks, uh, basically, if you have an infinite ice marker in the same column as her, you can retire one other breaker in the same column and she gains 10,000 power. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then at the end of the battle, you may also burn her off and draw one card. You know who that sounds like? <laughs> oh, also, spoiler alert, I have one card that combos very well. With, no, no, this one. With her. <laughs> Every time you write. Get the call grade 2 out. Oh my gosh. Very similar to how I play Nightwolves. Okay, so speaking about that, a great tools, we play one maple, as you mentioned, uh, one copy of Manti Scythe, as we also mentioned, that one is also from the right deck, so I won't need to explain it much here. Our other great tools involve four copies of the great Cell Gaon, I mean Anoto Gasto, and then we play four copies of Huli. Yeah. So Huli is not a four, so that's really cool. So maple is just because of the three infinite bodies you can throw around. Given that she has very great synergies with this card, you generally just want to play one off. It's all right. You persona right enough times to make it worthwhile, right? Yes, yeah. correct. Okay, Anotogasta, Anotogasta, I've talked about in the Levidras video, so link to the description. I will not talk about it anymore. Just know that it's an EB3 cell Gaon and it's basically an additional attack. 
so uh, very easy. The only difference I have to make here is because we are using King Lebidras and if you manage to slot uh, Lebidras in your soul, he's an early uh, back row swing even when you go first. Yeah, because you have 3 or more markers. Yes. So now you're starting to understand why we need to go into King Lebidras. It makes it so that the whole deck turns on a turn earlier. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. Alright, so last but not least, Huli. Huli! Uh, now, Huli, we've also talked about in the previous video, link in the description. Uh, but now she's at 4. Please tell me why you changed your mind. Alright, so um, because now I just want as much, much combat as possible. Okay, how? Um, basically, in a format with Agra, <laughs> having one Huli in your hand is incredibly devastating, I'll just say out loud. With uh, the Great Tree, this Great Tree, and this Great Two. Every time you ride and one Huli, you basically get back four of your rear guards. That's for free? The, yeah. For one count of last and just by using it from your hand. Yeah. You basically just get back your whole entire field. The second thing is because now that you also get the three marker effect much early on, you can also gain the ten thousand power early on as for well. Huli. Yes. Because you have three or more markers. Yes. I wonder why you have three or more markers. <laughs> oh jeez. If only this whole deck was built around the same idea. Yeah, so Hudi is now very very important and honestly you pretty much want to make sure she's in your hand as a combat as much as possible, especially against um, Mr. Vargas oh Jagress. Don't be like Kuon, come on. Don't be like Kuon. Okay, moving on to our great ones and seeing how there's so many children walking around the shop right now, I may just want to finish this video as fast as possible, even though it's a children's card game. Alright, our great ones, we already play Monty Scythe, I've talked yes, about him in the no, previous video. So uh, Piercer, sorry. Oh, sorry, Scorpius, right. Scorpius, sir. Four perfect guards, you want to stay alive. Uh, we play three copies of Clarence, who is the Bobo Mine. Again, I've talked about this one before, so I won't go into it very much. Uh, we have Fox Hill. Fox Hill, I also talked about in the previous video. It's the previous win con of Levy Dross that is still completely viable here. It gives you an additional attack. It's a magic number booster. It threatens with the critical. So just please play four. Because Fox Hill is still very important, we still need to play one copy of Resentment just to make sure we can always get access to Fox Hill. But other than that, that's really about it. And last but not least, we play two copies of the brand new Cycle Girl. The Cycle Girl has the very easy skill that, you know, if you have a G-Zone, which you obviously don't, she gets her effects. One is that you can just... Oops. Did I stack that one? Oh. No, no, there's only two copies. Two? Yeah, there's only two copies. I only took out one. No, the... Huh? There's Which only one. No, no, sorry. Uh, there's only one copy. Yeah, there's only one copy. Yeah, don't scare me, man. Sorry. Okay, yeah. You, you, never mind. You, you, want, you, want, you want to tell them the skin? Okay, so... As long as you don't have a G zone, she can basically you can discard on her hand, uh, return two of your right deck cards, okay. and then after that, look at the top seven, search your deck for up to one great tree that is different name from your Vanguard. So basically, you want to guarantee your Levi Dross, you want to guarantee your probably your Barbarita, maybe even Forbido, yeah, and even this girl. This you girl. are allowed to search the original Levi Dross when you're on King, right? Yes, is correct. That works? correct, correct, correct. But doesn't it get the name, the same name? Doesn't it get the same name? Doesn't it get the same name? Like if uh, it's counted as soul, or is it same original name? Is that how it works? I think it's same original name. As long as it's different original name from your Vanguard. Oh, then it counts? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So basically you can search out the Levy Trust as soon as possible. Okay. Itself. So the second effect is basically the shield effect since um I'm gonna be very honest, we are playing quite a number of great trees here as you can see. That's a lot of great trees. So you do, you do want to have some semblance of shield. So she works that for that as well. Yeah. So yeah. Ah, yeah. It's also regarded as the original. Yeah. So you can. Mm -hmm. It's also regarded. Yep. So you can just say I'm checking the base on original name. Correct. Right. Correct. So I guess it's fine. Yep. Okay. So I don't know why all these guys came off. Back in. Now for our great zeros, let's call this up. Um, this is uh, uh, stack, stack nipper. Stack nipper. Uh, you can't see it on camera. Uh, then we have eight crits. Yeah, we want to kill people. We play three fact draw. Uh, we, we still need our pieces, although you can play front here, I think it's fine. Four heals, want to stay alive. And of course, bless Marvel. Bless Marvel. Although I think most OTs are fine with Levy Dross, but this is just a safer one, I feel. Yeah. And that will wrap up our Levy Dross deck profile for Divines. Uh, I did. I was considering doing this in the style of a deck discussion, but I, I told myself, you know, I think this deserves enough of an overhaul 
that you know it it it, it deserves its own video. It really does. Uh, Levidra's Emporio has changed so much because they just literally stapled the end goal of Levidra's into the originally baby Levidra's deck, which was very lacking in the game plan, very little things you could do, but now it has so, so much. Your supports are really insane, your ride abilities are really insane with the amount of advantage you can just generate. You can also play all your cards a turn earlier, generally just because you now have three infinite ice markers very quickly. All you have to do is just, you know, open well <laughs> that's really about it i yeah i i would say this is a really good upgrade and very fitting for the end of divines 2024 i'm really interested to see what they will do in the future because you know i i i think this this is a design space worth celebrating you know this, this levy draft was such a non well planned deck in the last set i i think he deserves a round of applause for you know, being pretty good. I, I don't know if this is meta. I don't know if this is meta. I think it's good. But we'll have to see from the results whether this is, you know, wh whether this can beat Barga Dragrass. I don't think so. Mm. But I think this definitely is good matchups against stuff like Rezael and Odium. Well, to be frankly honest, <coughs> the way I built this version of Levy Trust to some degree was to basically counteract against that. Which is basically you have your ways to evade, you have your ways to revive, you have your ways to come back as soon as possible from just simply riding itself. So frankly speaking, I think this deck can stand the test of time against most of the control matchups, the biggest weakness that it had in the last set. That's good. So overall I think I think Let me just is gonna be pretty fine in this meta. Honestly speaking, he will be fine. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the last uh, deck profile I am doing for DZ Video 5. Um, I, I can't remember what's in the exact schedule. I may be wrong. But uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank all of you who have been here so far for all my DZ Video 5 videos. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I do intend to still cover one to two more, I think. So I will try and fit that into my schedule. Not only that, I also have my 06 videos all being planned up before you know I take a short hiatus uh, for me to do my own tournament run and then I'm gonna go and see if I can see M Crafter lose to Miltai in Tokyo yay <laughs> I, I don't know he may just burn and eat my plane ticket alive <laughs> thank you all so much for watching we we'll see you all next time goodbye space remember guys Cray is real is Cray real? maybe uh, I need to shoot the space to see okay let me know when you get there yeah, yeah. <laughs>